A Cromwell winemaker is turning his focus to producing Central Otago wine from Dunedin. Brendan Seal is an experienced New Zealand winemaker with almost 20 years in the industry. He joins us now to talk about his latest venture. Good evening. Hi. Where did the idea to make Central Otago wine in Dunedin come from? I can't say it's uh, an original idea. I've seen the idea in the States. Uh, about 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I saw it over there, and then, but immediately thought Dunedin was the place I wanted to do it in New Zealand mm -hmm. because Central Tago is so close. It just it's perfect. Yeah. It is perfect. Yeah. How's it being funded? Uh, <laughs> generous friends um, who've loaned me some money, and generous parents who've also loaned me some money. Mm -hmm. But the next stage will be more interesting because I made a small amount of wine. I own the equipment anyway, and I made a small amount of wine there this year with a, an idea to kind of test the idea. And now the next stage is to take it to the next level. So that's when I start to look for outside funding or other sources of funding, whether it's crowdsourcing or, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll go down that path. I'm currently moving down that path now. Nice. Yeah. Tell us about your winemaking background. Uh, so I've been based in Central Otago mostly since 2002, uh, doing a variety of winemaking roles there but i um, been lucky enough to travel around the world at the same time, which is often what you do when you're learning how to be a winemaker. And I've worked in the States, I've worked in Oregon and, and um, San Francisco. And I've also worked in the UK and Cyprus, which was quite an interesting place to work. And France, I've worked in Alsace over there. So you're yeah, quite diverse and a lot of fun, but it's Central Otago has always been home for winemaking for me. How do you think the wine in Central Otago compares to what you've seen around the world, particularly France, which is renowned for its wine? Yeah, Central Otago is lucky in that it's got a world-class um, climate for growing Pinot Noir, mm. and Pinot Noir can't grow everywhere. You know, it's it's really quite fussy about where it grows, and so as much as I like Dunedin, it's really fortunate that it's close to a world-class wine-growing region. Mm. You know, yeah, Pinot, Pinot Noir from Central Otago is definitely world-class when it's produced correctly. You know. Are there any other urban wineries established in New Zealand? Uh, not that I know of. Nothing, certainly nothing right in the heart of the city. There's been the odd one or two that's been in the suburbs, but nothing right in the middle of the city, which mm -hmm. is really where I wanted to be. Yeah. Where were you getting your grapes from? From All from Central Otago and mm -hmm. from a variety of vineyards there. And yeah. what was done to them once they got here? So it was all red wine this year, all Pinot Noir, so I de-stem the Pinot, um, so the grape stems come off, they come in as whole berries and then you take the stems off and they go into fermenter and then they get warmed up and they go through the fermentation process which is simply all the um, sugar converting into alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then at that stage it's wine and then you press it off and you, you put it to barrel. Mm -hmm. And do you physically remove each stem no, from the No, we've grape? got a machine, we've got a oh, clever machine. Winemakers yeah. have lots of machines, yeah, yeah. lots Excellent. of clever machines. Because <laughs> that yeah. would be rather tedious. It would. I have yeah. seen it and heard about it being done mm. by hand, mm. but that is quite extreme. It's and very And very, loving. very yeah. expensive. <laughs> <you know. laughs> Where were you based out of? Uh, the old Gresham Hotel, which mm -hmm. is that fantastic building on the corner of Queen's Gardens, which everybody in Dunedin is bound to be watching, seeing yes. it unfold. It's an incredible building. I mean, it looks beautiful from the outside, but it's yep. absolutely fantastic on the inside. Yeah, it's, it's coming along fabulously. Yeah, it's great. Are you wanting to offer wine tours at some stage? Uh, yeah, that'll be part of the part of the package. Mm -hmm. uh, wine tours, wine tastings, wine uh, experiences, I would imagine. We'll just see how it all pans out. Mm -hmm. Basically, I, I want to be able to make really great Central Otago Pinot Noir in the city and then anything else around that is a bonus. Mm. Yeah. Is Pinot Noir your favourite wine or are you a beer drinker? I am a beer drinker, <laughs> especially anybody who knows me will say that I'm a beer drinker more than a wine drinker. Um, especially at the end of a wine making day, you really want to be drinking beer. Mm. and. Uh, no, Pinot Noir is not my favourite. It's certainly my favourite to make. Yeah. It's an amazing thing to watch unfold, um, day by day, month by month, year by year. It's it's an amazing wine. Mm. Uh, but no, I would drink. I drink wines quite widely. I like having a. It's like reading. You've you've got to have a variety of things to like. Yeah. yeah. What was the local response like? Brilliant. Yeah, really, really good. Um, local media response has been good. Local support has been fantastic. And I wanted to be somewhere where people would be kind of interested, being able to walk in and pop in and see what's going on and that site was perfect for that. We mm. get lots of people walking by and sticking their head in and seeing, yeah, yeah, it's been great. So let's say you got the funding that you needed, what yep. happens next? Uh, next is finding a site for next year, mm -hmm. uh, whether that's going to be a permanent site or a temporary site, I don't know at this stage, it's a matter of going through the, the financials and seeing. I'd love it to be permanent, at some stage it will be permanent, it's just whether it's next year or the year after. Um, and then we'll make another 300 cases of Pinot Noir next year. And then I'll be out this time next year, I'll be out uh, showing my face around selling to pubs and restaurants as well as having a place where people can come in and taste as well. That's the plan. That's the plan. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, good luck with your funding. Winemaker you. Brendan Seal, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.